fix KY so Kyle Young's car. I'd imagine uh, part of that is after this, this I have to fix the window. So <laughs> yeah. Nah, I've been I've been playing basketball since um, I was a kid. Like as long as I can remember. Um, this, this, this is what I do every single cars, day. Like, it's been so, around um, me like, and my dad, like you said, like Dwayne and CJ leaving those are my brothers. So like I love them to death. And them leaving hurt. But like you said, it also opened up opportunities for myself and probably other people who has come in. So but that being said, like I just I just want to go out there and show what I can do. I was able to show bits and pieces of it last year. And I feel like this year a lot of people are gonna be able to see like what I really can do. I mean, honestly, it's really been a long time since people see me play. I want to say a full game, but like a lot of minutes since I tore my ACL back in high school. So what they're going to see this this year and this upcoming season is it be shocking. It's dinner. I make sure it's dinner. I'm not saying we're How much easier have things gotten, you know, in year two? And how much different is this preseason than last season was? Yeah, I need to I mean, things have got way easier because just the fact that, like, when I came here, the stuff I ex stuff that happened, I didn't expect. So now having that full year and um, going into the summer with film yeah, and things no, that I can I, learn I, when, from, I, I know what I to expect. To now I know home, what to do to my game I and become a better player. Um, um, because like last summer in 2020, I didn't know I was about to be a college like player in December, like a like couple months later. Like I was getting ready for my senior year, still recovering from my ACL so, injury. So being with Q, being with my teammates, uh, bonding every single day, it, it has did nothing but help me become a better player into who I can be for this team. What kind of caught you off guard and like surprised you last year when you were making that transition? Like the hardest thing about you know, stepping up in competition like that? I always seen college like, oh man, I can go play in a game like that. But just the pace, like actually really being in it and being there is difficult because um, it goes fast. It goes really fast. And I learned that quick and I had to, I didn't have a choice. And I I've learned it better over the summer, and I think that's going to help me for next year. And I think that was the biggest thing that I learned from last year: is the pace of the game, how quick things can go. I think the hardest and, thing I did was change you know, tire. I things, change things happen fast. But it was the fact what are the that biggest like changes that people are going to see on the court for this season in terms of what you've been working on to improve the most? More playmaking. Last year, I mean, I feel like you, people, a lot of people see me come in and just hit shots, hit shots, you know, play defense. I think people are going to see me be able to make more plays, get to the rim. Uh, being a better free throw yeah. shooter than that were yeah. last year. People are going to see a lot that, I, I, no. like I said, I, I think it's going to shock them Move because, fast, okay. I mean, like I said, people haven't really got to see me play two a time. And uh, this yeah, year is going to be a lot to show, and I'm, I'm very excited because I've just been putting in a lot of work. So. Very excited about that. Have you put on any like weight or By the way, when I came into college, I was like 169, 170. Now I'm about 180. So I've been putting on a lot of weight, more muscle. Thank you. Um, I should be in the weight room. I've been grinding, doing everything I can to be be ready for this team to help win. Which class do you consider yourself in? Their class or this freshman class? Freshman class. I mean, I, I did my. I came late. I did a half a year, no conditioning, no time in the weight room. Uh, I had to learn 50 plays in one week. I mean, it was tough. Like, I mean, but um, I did my senior year in college, and I consider myself a freshman because that's what I would have been, and that's what I'm. I'm I mean, yeah, I'm young. I'm a young so. That's what I consider myself. Young, but but confident. I mean, we saw that last year a little bit, and you can kind of tell it yeah. in the game now. I, I play with no. I mean, I play with no fear. Like, I mean, I, the shot go in, it goes in, and I believe it will. But if it, if it don't, it don't. And I think that, like I said, with more minutes and being a bigger impact this year for this team, it's it's a lot more to show than what I what I've done in the past. So my coaches believe in me. I believe in myself. My teammates believe in me. I just think it's going to be a good year, and I'm just doing whatever I can to help this team win. How have you been able to help a guy like Malachi come in in his transition, knowing that you you just did that, you know, not that long ago? Um, just telling him to stay focused, not get caught up in you know having a bad day, because you, you know he's young. He's the youngest on the team. I'm the second youngest, and I've been in his shoes before because I was the long, the youngest last year. So a young guy like him who just turned 18 as a freshman in college, like you know you want to play your best every day, but sometimes you know things just don't go your way, and just attack practice. Attack practice like a game because that's something I had to learn because I didn't know what I was honestly getting in last year. I just didn't know. So attack and practice like a game just, you know, it helped me with a lot. So I tell him that all the time and just, you know, take one day at a time and go from there. So I guess, I mean, are things, whether it's going through a full off season, going through a full kind of summer training, are things coming slower to you now? Very slower, very slower. I mean, as I started to play more last year, it started to become slower yeah. just because of the more reps I was getting on the court, the more practice I was getting going up, going up against C.J. Walker and Dwayne every day. And then having a full summer here with like 
a guy like D'Angelo Russell, like if you watch D'Angelo Russell, you see how slow and how he pay at his own pace. And able to work out with him, learn from him and his knowledge, everything is slowing up. I had a little injury for the past two weeks I was dealing with. Nothing major, so you know that kind of set me back a little bit. But now being able to be back, I'm able to get back to that pace that I'm talking about and be able to you know help my team in that area. But viewing yourself as a freshman already with conference experience, how valuable is that to know what it's like, but to have so much time left? I mean, confidence is key. Yeah, you, you can't you can't go in these games and think you're going to be able to do good without confidence. And that's how I came in. Like if you see the shots I was taking last year, sometimes coaches like man, you lucky that one man. Because those are some D threes, but I just I believe in myself. I believe in my craft and I believe in my game. And like I said, I wasn't really able to show that much. Like you, you see me come in here a couple threes last year. It was a, and that's a lot more that I can do. And like I said, my coaches believe in me. I believe in myself, and that's that's really where I'm at. I just want to do everything I can to help this team win. So are you still taking those shots next time? Um, yeah. Uh, I mean, I, I don't want to say like a, I don't want to take bad shots, but um, I, I, the shots that I take or you see me take is what I work on. So like, I mean, if I miss it, it would be a shock to me. You know, because sometimes you miss shots. You know, it, it just happens. But um, a lot of the, a lot of the shots I took last year, I think I shot like 50% from three without taking. I think I took like 12, 13 threes and made like seven or eight. So a lot of those shots, like I said, is what I work on. And I mean, if I feel like I can make it, my coaches believe in me and they feel like it's a good shot too. I'm gonna take it. You know, I'm gonna take it. So um, I'm excited and just wanna do whatever I can to help the team win and and be an impact. So do you watch a lot of tape with Damian Lillard? Do I like watch a lot of tape? Of Dame. Damian Lillard? Um, yeah, I, I'll say that. I watch a lot of uh, film in, in general. Like, I watch everything. I watch every practice. Um, I, I watch my teammates film. Like, I watch every single... I, I study film, like, I, all the time. I probably... I say I spend at least an hour or two between the day on watching film. Because um, that's that's what I... That's what, that's what helped me on the court. I'm able to see things that I'm not able to see while I'm playing, so... I don't know, I've watching guys like Dame, Kyrie, the way they move, like I do, is, I mean, it helps me a lot. How are you health You mentioned you're after a couple of feel different feeling good. Never I feel great. Uh, it was a precautionary thing. I played through it all last year, all summer. It was just like Coach said, like, you know, they're going to need me this year to be a bigger impact and a role for the team. So it's just like, it's best to treat it now, do what I can now, attack it so it don't linger throughout the season and I'll miss some time in the season. So, um, I mean, it was nothing crazy. I didn't want people worrying about it. Like, you know, some people may see me in the boot once or twice. It was nothing big. It just, I had to be careful and, you know, make sure that I'm healthy for the season. Uh, <laughs> With CJ and Dwayne gone, who do you kind of lean on this year? You know, because you say you are still a freshman. Uh, like, how, who do you lean on this year for, for leadership and if you have questions or interesting to lean on anybody um i say just like people like jamari even though he ain't been in ohio state he played college basketball for four years um it's just my teammates like kyle young the leader justin Aarons, guys who've been here but um a lot of times i'm leaning on them and also i gotta lean on myself you know I, last year i had to lean on myself a lot i mean i had cj in the way but i had to i had to figure some stuff out on my own because you know some stuff i didn't expect and some stuff i did so it was like this year you know i'm going into a year where i'm having people that i can lean on but it's like gonna be on times when i'm like yo you gotta lean on yourself and you gotta pick yourself up and make sure that you be able to go mentally because my teammates they're gonna do whatever they can to help me they're gonna always be there but i gotta have you know that that confidence and that and that self have my self thoughts you know where it needs to be for myself so um just having older guys like Kyle and them is big so people I can lean on for sure